So, right now, things are very uncertain, you know? I don't know what's going to happen in my future because of everything going on with YouTube. Um, I, obviously, if I get any more updates for you guys on what's going on with DSP Gaming, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, all these videos will be recorded uh, off of my streams and uploaded to KO Gaming, okay? Android did a standard cheer and says, If your AdSense is banned, how is your KO Gaming one have AdSense? I don't get it. Because my AdSense is not banned. Well, here, here's, here's what happened, okay? Here's what happened, guys. I have always had a personal AdSense account that's fine and works, okay? I've had it for years, actually. I've had a personal AdSense account that was fine and worked. Uh, but I was always partnered with another company. I was partnered with Machinima, then I was partnered with Curse, so I didn't matter. But last year, I decided to partner my vlogging channel, The King of Hate Vlogs, just under this normal AdSense account uh, because I didn't want to go seek out another company. Curse didn't want to partner it because... Uh, vlogging channel has nothing to do with gaming and Curse only partners gaming channels. So the vlogging channel was just kind of out there and I didn't want to seek out another company to partner it. So I said, you know what, I'll just do I'll just do it under this normal AdSense. So I did. And for a year and a half, <clears throat> my vlogging channel has been under normal AdSense. No problems. Okay. Um, But what happened was I had to make another AdSense account, which, are, which obviously you're not supposed to have more than one. And I know that. But last year, YouTube made this weird change and it was YouTube's fault. Where if you wanted to partner with a, a, a partnership company, any company, you know, Curse, anyone else, you had to have an AdSense account associated with your YouTube channel. Now the problem was, when they first made this change, which incidentally was when I needed to partner with Curse, uh, they, they screwed it up. They didn't put any option in to link an existing AdSense account, you know? It didn't exist. They're, they're basically, they're idiots. I don't know what else to say. They are. That was an idiotic thing. Let's make a new institute, a new change on YouTube, but not actually test it to see if it'll work the way that we intend. And of course, it didn't. What it did, it forced you to make a new AdSense account, no matter what. As stupid as that sounds, that's what it forced you to do. So if you had multiple YouTube channels, at that point, you were forced to create multiple AdSense accounts. It was YouTube's fault. That this happened because they they forced this change so that's exactly what i did i made a second adsense account and had it linked to dsp gaming just for like two days or something just so that i could eventually have that linked to curse okay so um that being said i then linked with curse never had a problem at all okay never had a problem and you know a year and a half i'm with curse everything's good then, after, you know, Curse says, well, you know, well, l let me put it this way. It was, like I said, it was an amicable break. It wasn't either party was angry at each other and neither party was, was like, oh, you did something wrong or anything. It wasn't like with, with Machinima. With Machinima, it was the complete opposite. Uh, I, I was really fucking ripping pissed at them. And I said, I want to get the fuck out of here. All right, with Curse, it was an amicable break. Amicable break. But I said, all right, what I want to do is just go into a normal AdSense account, right? I just want to go back, you know, the one that I already have against my vlogging channel. That's what I want DSP Gaming to be under. So, well, as soon as Curse unlinked the channel, uh, it said, oh, your AdSense has been disabled for invalid click activity. I'm like, now, wait a minute. How could my AdSense have been disabled for invalid click activity when it was never active? The fucking AdSense account was never active. I was under Curse for a year and a half. So you're telling me there was invalid click activity against an AdSense account that wasn't active against the channel. It doesn't even make any fucking sense. What it sounds to me like is that their pro YouTube's process was broken from the start. That you would create an AdSense, you would link with the network, and then while you were linked with the network, the AdSense would fuck up. It would have errors and shit because it wasn't set up properly, okay? Uh, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If, all right, if it were a situation where it, when it said, oh, you know, this AdSense has been suspended because you have another AdSense, Okay, that would have made perfect sense to me. That would have made 100% sense. And I would have said, okay, let's just get that resolved. Just tell them, look, I have a valid AdSense. Here it is. This is what I want against the channel. Delete the other one. I don't want it. I didn't want it to begin with. It was because YouTube forced me to make it, right? But that's not the situation. That's not the situation at all. Um, You know, 
So that's why I'm shrugging, and that's and that that's what YouTube is confused about too. Like when I contacted YouTube on Friday about that, their representative said to me, "Yeah, I don't know why this is invalid click activity because you know he said he even said he said if you've never used it, that makes no sense, and that's why we got to get an answer from our AdSense internal team." So yeah, it's not a situation where I have deactivated AdSense accounts. That's not the situation. The situation is I have a working AdSense. I've had it for a long time, but for whatever reason. This AdSense that was supposed to be a dummy account, you know, dummy AdSense, all right, um, that was supposed to be a situation where I was supposed to just be able to switch AdSenses and be fine. But for whatever reason, they locked it for a completely different, seemingly unrelated reason, all right? So we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on a response from YouTube. Excuse me. Well, we're waiting on a response from the AdSense team, Okay the AdSense team, about what the hell is going on here, all right, we're waiting, so we'll see what happens, <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens, uh, that Anana Bunny also did a 100 bit cheer, he says, why would you want to leave Curse if it was amicable, oh, I didn't say I wanted to leave Curse, I certainly never said that, <clears throat> it's like I've told you guys, I can't give you the exact reason, because actually, if I told you 100% the exact reason of what happened, you got, first of all, you guys, once again, would be blown away and, and upset. I know you would, because I'm fucking blown away and upset at the real reason. But basically telling you the real reason wouldn't help anything, and it might even potentially have caused more harm than good. So I can't fully tell you the real reason for anything, all right? But what I can tell you is this. In general, <clears throat> in general, uh, partnership networks are basically under big heat and big fire from YouTube. Because for a long time, partnership networks were just literally accepting every single person under the sun. They wouldn't screen the content of the people they were signing. They wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't be held responsible if someone under the network did something wrong. Like, they really wouldn't... Would, you know what I mean? Like, when you're a partnership network, what's, here's what's supposed to happen. All right? Here's what's supposed to happen. Okay? Um, they're supposed to review the content regularly to make sure it adheres to YouTube guidelines... Okay, and if it doesn't, they're supposed to take disciplinary action, meaning punish that partner, release that partner, whatever it is. And apparently, and again, this has nothing to do with me, by the way, I should say this specifically, this has nothing to do with my case. This wasn't me. This is in general, apparently what was happening across YouTube recently. Apparently, a lot of partnership networks were just basically signing every single person they wanted just to make as much money as possible. <clears throat> and they weren't really doing the work they promised YouTube they were going to do. Okay, so... Because of that, YouTube came down hard this year, especially after all the ad revenue has plummeted. There's, you know, not enough ads to go around. And YouTube says, listen, if you want to be part of our network and you want to get the best ads because you're a partnership company, you have to do what you promised you were going to do. And you have to screen the people, you know, in your, in your, you're under your wing, right? You have to make sure that they, they that everything is kosher, like you said you were going to do. Because I guess what, that what was actually found was that some of these people who were big offenders who were, oh, this person is, is making racist claims and terrorist claims in their videos, and they got ads on it, they found out those people were under partnership networks. It wasn't even like they had normal AdSense. They were actually partnered, and they were like, why the hell didn't this partnership network pick up on this, you know, and, and take care of this previously? In, in reality, I, I mean, I never really knew that until recently. I guess one of the major reasons YouTube allows partnership networks to exist is because YouTube feels they're too big to police all the content on their website. So they feel that the policing of the content should be taken over by the partnership network. You know what I mean? If you're under the network, it's their job to police content on YouTube. And so I guess that's why they allow these partnership networks to exist. And now after a big audit, they realize they're really not doing a good job at all. And they slammed really fucking hard on partnership networks this year. So what that caused was partnership networks to then internally do really big kind of screenings on, on uh, you know, on everything that's going on with, with their partners to find out, you know, who's profitable, who's not, who's a liability, who's not. And in particular, again, that's not my situation. It wasn't, it wasn't that I had violated any policy or anything like that. It was an amicable break with me. In fact, you know, Curse actually said to me, you know, we loved being, having you under our wing because for a year and a half you put out a ton of content and everything and, you know, you never did anything. You never got in trouble or violated. You know, the Atlas strike was a mistake, got reversed, you know. All the stuff that ever happened against DSP Gaming was reversed. It wasn't anything that was negative. So they even said, you know, we want this to be an amicable break because we don't have any ill feelings toward you, you know. Um, 
So it just kind of sucks that I can't tell you the real reason of what's going on behind the scenes, and I probably never will be able to. But basically, uh, you know, we had to have a, a break, and you know, it just resulted in bullshit. Because you know, Curse even said, "Well, it's fine if you already, you know, if you if you already have other channels, right, under AdSense, I, we don't foresee you having any problems." putting, you know, your DSP gaming channel under your own AdSense. We can't even imagine why anything would go wrong. And then, of course, immediately something fucking goes wrong. That's completely unpredictable. You know, really fucking stupid. Right? Really dumb. So, it is what it is, right? It sucks, but, uh, that's the situation. All right? Here comes the money! Here we go! Do it up, 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 do it up